All right, okay, what's up, people? This is the very start of the game. We're gonna sit here in incredibly awkward silence while it does this. This is actually faster than it was the first time. So apparently, like, when you very, the very first time you load, no, never mind, now the replay data is taking, the replay data is taking up the time, but the initial, like, the loading and the confirmed shit, that actually took longer the first time, but then I forgot to start recording, because, you know, that's how I do. Um, hi, I'll, I'll get to your message in a second, but, oh my god, like, we, we gotta have some real talk right here, we gotta have some real talk. The Xbox 360 version of this game is superior, I gotta turn this down, because I was listening to Netflix and it requires different volume levels. The Xbox 360 version of this game is superior to the PS3 version in literally every single way except for two. The first is the lack of the lobby system, just because, you know, obviously the Xbox 360 version can't be better at something it doesn't fucking have. But if it did have it, it'd be fucking better. And the player base. There are far more people playing this game than there are people playing the 360 version. But every, every single technical aspect of the 360 version is better. It's faster. Uh, it, it just, it, that, that's just it. It's fast. It handles everything faster. There's less downtime. There's less bullshit of me just agonizing wait periods. Like, when I fire up the 360 version, it, for some reason, it handles that shit at the title screen rather than, um, well, actually, it's because it has to select the storage device. So when you select the storage device, the title screen, it immediately goes through all of that. It goes through the confirming, loading, checking replay data. And it goes through all of it faster than I can actually even read it. It takes like two seconds and with all of it and it's done. Just like that. Just done. In this game, it, that took what? 30 seconds to load up at the beginning and it took longer the very first time I fired it up. Oh my god. It pisses me off. So, and the online is better. See again, now I want, this is something that I just want some feedback from anybody else in the world that has AT&T U-verse internet and has a PS3 does that just suck for you because I'm honestly because for those of you that may not be aware I'll just I'll go back a little bit a while back um, you know I, I'd always had the best internet package that AT&T could offer and AT&T is my only choice I have no other choice for internet service providers where I am AT&T is it it is it's my end game I have no other choice and so um I'd always had the best package they had available but then they released a newer package which was much better like it jumped it basically doubled everything so it went from what I have right now which is basically around 21 down and anywhere between three to five up just depending on how kind it's feeling to 45 down and anywhere between five to eight up. And so I was like, oh, gimme, hell to the year, I wants it. Now, firstly, the biggest reason why I decided not to use that internet was because it was coming in to us at like 23 down and about five up like consistently, which is about half of what they promised <laughs> which isn't that much better than what we were already getting but we were paying like $40 more for this better internet and so we were like yeah um, this is kind of low in comparison to what you promised us and they're like oh no that is well within our values of what is considered acceptable speeds you see it says up to 45 and so because of that 23 is well within our acceptable range like what the fuck kind of bullshit ass service is that so they're like okay well we're not gonna pay you money for this and this also the reason why I think it's just bad with the PS3, it never, it didn't even get that on the PS3. The max that I have ever seen on my PS3 is 18 down and about 2.5 up, I think is like the best that it's gotten. And even upgrading the internet did nothing to change that. I have no idea what it is. I don't know what happened, that's just how it was. And there was nothing I could do to fix it. I tried, you know, like the opening port shit, uh, like, you know, making making sure there's no firewalls in the way all that shit nothing changed it so like part of me just wants to think this isn't PSN's fault it's just AT&T internet just sucks for some reason with the PS3 because everything that I play on the 360 is 
leaps and bounds superior to everything else. And the, um, like before my only real comparison that I had there was Marvel. Except everybody knows PlayStation 3 version of Marvel is trash. Like it is just a shitty game, absolutely terrible in every capacity. So I can't use that to like compare Xbox Live versus PSN. It doesn't work like that because the port, it's the game itself sucks. It's run slower, so you know, you just, I don't know. It could have just been the way they made the game, made the netcode suck, versus PSN making the netcode suck. But again, now I have Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. I have played both versions. My connections overall on Persona 4 Arena Ultimax on the PS3 have been terrible. And then I look at the 360, where the majority of my connections are perfectly fine. They're great. There's like 10% of the connections that I play that are one bar or more are bad. Versus this game where I feel like about 75% of the connections that I play are just bad. Like, there's no question about it. They're just bad. So, man, like, I am just going on record and saying, y'all people should have bought this for the 360. God damn it. But I, I doubt there's going to be anybody playing this. It is... 10 a.m. on a weekday morning. There's no way anybody's here. I don't know why I came here in the first place. Yo, trophy boosting. Well, I'm not helping you. That New York gamer dude is there all the time. See, so yeah, these are probably all like East Coast people. Let's check out the lobby. Let's see who's here. Damn, so a lot of Japanese people. But I've definitely realized, like, because I, I played a bunch last night. I couldn't record, unfortunately. And I played. A fair amount of sets. Yeah, okay, so these are probably all Japanese people, too. Looks that way. Looks that way. Yeah, it looks like I'm out of luck. Um, But so I played a bunch. I played Monsieur Tai, that you may remember. who Like, I had a good, fine connection with him. Basically the same as it is on Blaze. Well, I played, I believe, Tuck. And then there's some numbers. I will never remember the numbers. Who I had a three-bar connection with. It was an excellent connection. But... After that, I played maybe like five or six other unique people, and the connections, like, there was one, I played this one, like, really bad Mitsuru masher who the moment I beat him, he beat me two games, and then I caught on to the mashing because I didn't know her charge shit, her charge lunge shit, that's safe on block when done from a distance, brilliant, absolutely fantastic well done balancing but yeah i didn't know it was safe i thought it was punishable so i kept mashing into getting counter hit and then once i figured that out blew her up immediately ran away and then after i played that person every connection afterward was just awful ty blew me up though ty blew me the fuck up let's just jump in here and see what the fuck happens fuck it just fuck me maybe i don't want to be in here We'll try one match, I guess. But yeah, after all that play, after just dealing with it, I have come to realize that, like, this is not a game meant to be taken seriously. This is a game full of absolute bullshit that is just, you know, you have to, you have to flip a coin to get away from the bullshit, and if you flip wrong, you lose. That's just how the game is. So, like, this is not a game meant to be taken seriously. And so... Hopefully after that realization, after that bit of like, oh, okay, I'm just done bothering like thinking, hey, I want to play this game and get good at it. It's just, this is just a bullshit party game. This is just a casual game. So let's treat it like that. And that's how I'm going to be from now on. I don't know if this homie going to want to play me. Cause I ain't, okay. But we're going to see. If, I, if this is a terrible connection, I am going to utilize... The privilege this game has given me to dodge out of this shit. Damn, this dude. Okay, this this fucking um. Hang on. This game, the PS3 version of this game, Ken Army, Ken Army. This is like, so like I said, I played maybe like 12 unique people last night. This will be the 13th unique person. This is the seventh Ken I have played. I am not even exaggerating that shit. Literally played six Kens last night, and now the first player I play is using Ken again. Holy shit, Ken is everywhere on PSN. This dude just does... 
The Juness theme is not good for a fighting game. I need to stop random selecting that shit. Because Juness theme for a fight? But it looks like this connection is actually looking just fine. But yeah, we're going to get blown up by Ken. Because Ken is a bullshit character. I should have just stuck with Ken. Like, sure, he's boring as hell. But fuck, he's amazing. I don't know why that hit him. Hey. But see? 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 Look at that. Yeah, I can't do that. Can't do that. That's the big that's actually the biggest problem. I try I was just mashing on dodge. So this is actually the first good kin I played. None of the other kins were good, but this guy's actually using effective pressure. Whatever, blow up Kormar, I don't even care. I blocked! Fuck you! I may just not have gone high enough. Oh, there's the lag. I'm lag switching. See, so yeah, we just got blown the fuck up there. But that's what I mean. Like, there's nothing you can do against that except guess. I guessed wrong. I died. Persona 4 Arena! I can't even be mad at it. But I am trying to. The stick is amazing. The stick is fantastical. I am enjoying it. The problem with it is the stick itself is actually larger. No. Well, I don't want I don't even want to use the replay function in the first place, but why would I want to utilize it? Blow me up again, dog. Um but yeah, like so initially I got it. There's actually this uh I thought I got an incomplete stick because on the on the bottom of the top of like the of the stick there is a I don't even know why like I lifted it up to show you except nobody can see it so I don't know why I lifted it up but there's a panel that's just, there's an empty like hole in the stick right and so I was like yo they sent me an incomplete stick what the hell is going on here but it's actually looking closer it's got indentations for like your fingers so it's actually a handle which is actually really cool i like that I like, that's really you know because it's always been kind of awkward to hold a stick because there's no real good way to hold it you just kind of tuck it under your arm and just you know hold it there but yeah so at first i was like yo they sent me an incomplete stick what the fuck but the bad part is the panel that you all talk about this after i get blown up again nah, i tried to fight it God, I need to learn how to confirm that shit properly. God damn it! Where the fuck is he? What the fuck just- What? What? I- What? If I- See, if I was lower, that would be working. I'm sorry? Okay. I'm, I'm mind fucked now. Like, I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck happened with the DP shit. Did Koromaru just beat my 5 at my 5B? Alright, he's mashing this. See, like, even this dude, who I just said is a good Ken player, doesn't even know that you can follow that shit up. Like, nobody fucking knows that you can follow up his DP. I'm sorry? Come on! How did I not hit Kormaru? Yeah, I deserve that. I deserve that. That was too obvious. I should have baited that out. Like, what else is he gonna do on the defensive like that? But yeah, I played poorly. Oh, I can't hit the jump loop online. I mean, granted, I just talk shit about the connections all day long, but this connection's actually not that bad. It's very playable. The pro- I mean, another problem with it is that, like... I can't find a character that I like. 
I cannot find a character that I like. What? Why did it just kick me out? What just- Oh, I see. The other dude left. I thought- I thought I got kicked out. Okay, yo, this Tiz Taz motherfucker? Whatever, you're stuck against Tiz Taz. <laughs> um, so, the panel here, on the side, that handles the power cable, you know, that you- the U- not the power cable, the USB cable that you plug in. How is this gonna help anybody? Fucking idiot Tiz Taz, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> So, usually it's just got like a plastic clasp on it that you just, you know, you hit the plastic clasp and it undoes itself. So you open it up, you pull out the power cable, etc, etc. This one doesn't have it. It's got like magnets or something. It is incredibly difficult to open. Like, I legit, I have to like stick my thumb, my, like my thumbnail in there as hard as I can and just pull as hard as I can. And I legitimately thought I was going to break it. The very, like, the very first time I opened it up, I thought I was going to break it off. I thought it was just going to snap off. So that, if there's any downside to this stick, that is it. I won't lose. Oh, cool. We got the edgy you player. The red, the red and black. That's how you know. See, I cannot land that fucking combo online. I don't know fatal combos. I did it! I did it! Motherfucker makes me wait all this time for this. Nice mash, bro. Oh, I missed the dash again. <laughs> Why am I recording stuff? Why am I? Ah! So, um, I didn't really finish the thought, but another thing is, like, even with Sho, like, I'm still not, I don't like the character. He's just easy to use, and he's effective. Like, that's it. Durant, Ch what is Chula? Obviously, OKC is Oklahoma City. Obviously, Durant is Kevin Durant, but what the fuck is Chula? Yo, this Tiz Taz motherfucker sucks. No, Durant Chula, don't leave Durant Chula. Well, okay, we're gonna talk. So, like I said, um, the problem that I am having is just you know, if you're gonna play a fighting game and you wanna and you wanna enjoy a fighting game, you have to have a character that you enjoy playing, a character that you really mesh well with. That you truly enjoy and I cannot find that character so like characters that I have tried in vanilla I didn't really play vanilla persona 4 arena all that much but the characters that I tried then and the you know same thing I just I didn't feel them it was just these are characters that I could use but that I don't really enjoy using Teddy well Akihiko was the first Teddy and um, Labrys was the last one I tried and then I just stopped playing the game after Labrys in this game, I have tried, obviously, Akihiko again, Ken, um, Sho, and obviously, by virtue of me not enjoying Sho, I know I'm not gonna enjoy Minazuki. Um, Yosuke, son of a bitch, I done fucked up. Son of a bitch, I done fucked up. Fuck it, I'm outie then. Let's go find something else to do. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I mean, there's no way that we're gonna have... Let's just see, let's just see the diversity of connections in here. But if this homie's from New York, the chances... I mean, just look how long it's taking me to connect. I can't even connect to the room. What are the connections I'm looking at? Okay, we got... We got one... One two bar. Great. 
Fantastic. Where is he? Is he one of the people waiting? Waiting? Where are you? Where are you, person that was a two bar? What's his name? TBR Blood Edge. Son of a bitch. Fine, I'm just gonna roll over here then and I'm just gonna sit here. Um So Yosuke is another one who like Yosuke the only thing that I really think I would enjoy about him is just the simple fact that he's like complete bullshit. It would make people rage. But I think it all it all just boils down to the fact that I really just don't like this game's design overall. And that's the biggest flaw with it. It's like if I don't like the game's design, obviously the characters have to be designed around the game. So, oh, you know what I haven't checked? Manga Shinigami, your message is coming in live. Damn right. Sent from a device other than a PS3 system. Well then, why are you even sending messages? Um, he sent me this last night. Hi. And the other one is, so the other one's useless. The other one is from Ty saying GG's. They weren't GG's. He blew me the fuck up. I don't know how many times, but he uses Adachi and he's very, he, he knows his character. I don't know shit about my character, so obviously I'm going to be getting my ass whooped by somebody that he's, you know, good with their character, especially when I'm using a character like Sho, who is just, you know, very basic. The problem is that Adachi, see, so basically what I kind of got from Adachi, um, overall, like, through playing, you know, against him and through playing against the, the other previous player, one of the first people I played against online was a decent Adachi, is basically Adachi is, like, a character that you really have to commit to, but that every single commitment he makes he has like another answer to blow up your reaction to that commitment so like he goes jump he jumps right and then technically you could anti-air him at that point right except if you throw out an anti-air to preempt the time when he's gonna come down on top of your head um he ends up he can use that what is it downward slashing i don't know what the move is called but the persona move where he slashes downward you know lightning follows his persona and stuff like that right on top of your head so he's out of range of your um of your anti-air and then adachi with punishes your anti-air yes i am how do i how do i do this how do i do this yes that's not e But yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of how I feel like with Adachi in general. He's a character that like he kind of ha has an answer for everything that you can do. But like every single one of his answers is unsafe. So he's kind of just committing to everything. Except, you know, every single one of those unsafe things can then lead into another unsafe thing and blow you up for it. So I don't know. I don't know. But I need to I don't know. I just the game in general is just not... I just don't like how it's designed in the first place. So how can I find a character that I enjoy in a game that I don't? You know what I mean? So I just need to, like, stop trying to treat this seriously. I need to stop trying to act like this is something that I want to be, like, competitive in and just treat it as, like, basically a party game. Just here to have fun. Just casual. Nothing, nothing, nothing important going on. Nothing on the line. Just, you know, go nuts. Play bonkers. Do whatever we want. Who cares if we lose and go down to the light blue square? Dark blue is the worst one, isn't it? Or is it light? I don't even know. It's in the manual, though. I could get up and check the manual, but that's too much effort. And now we're going to play against a Mitsu, because that's always fun, right? Can't block that. Whatever, hit the persona, don't even care. Just totally okay, eating this gigantic combo, totally okay. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that's good. I'll be dead. Yeah. 
Good DP, good DP, you reacted to it that time. Really? Like, that was a full auto combo. That was a full auto combo, sans the... And it's safe. I couldn't even punish it with his DP. See, why is that That should not be safe. This is my problem with this game. Oh, that's cool. Didn't even come out. <laughs> I did it. Oh, I tried to cancel it. Oh, okay, so apparently that's air unblockable. Cool. Good to know. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is a terribly designed game. How can you allow a character to go through their full auto combo and be safe at the end of it? Welcome to Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Like, there's nothing good about it. And so that's what I mean. I just, I gotta, I, I gotta just not take it seriously. Just whatever, who cares? But it's still, it's just so hard to not be like flabbergasted the entire time. Because there's nothing good about this game. Select your character. It's like everything is absolutely <laughs> stupid. <laughs> And it is everything about it, everything about the design of this game bugs me. This is, this is, this is a game that should have barrier block. This is a game that should have push block. This is a game that should have something, but instead all you get is either you have to DP or roll, and if you guess wrong, you die. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. There's nothing enjoyable about it. It, it kills me. Oh, okay, so I can't combo off of that. He was supposed to DP, and he didn't. God dang, okay. I, need, I really need to learn the range of his DP so I don't continue doing that. It's like, why did he get to block there? Yo Mitsuru. Yo Mitsuru. I did it. I did it. There's just nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do except commit to something unsafe and cross my fingers. Roll, please. Mm. I tried to be, and I got counter hit. That's my, that's my answer here. That's my answer here, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 
What? Great. Oh, I just hate this game. I tech. I did not tech, I hit the wrong button. I mean technically I tried to tech, I just I just I hit the wrong button. And of course she has priority there. What? What? And of course that's all 100% safe block string. I mean, why wouldn't it be, really? Let's be honest. Never seen that move before. But it really is just like every time I play a player that knows block, like, Sho doesn't have any block strings like that. He doesn't have anything that is. There's no gaps in between. Like five B, five C. There's a gap in there. Five C, five B. There's a gap in there. There's gaps in everything that Sho does. So you can mash out of it if you know. Like I'm autopiloting every single time. Whereas, you know, you have characters like Mitsuru, you Minazuki's actually, he's even better at it. I guess he's done. Uh, Minazuki is even better at it because he can, um, I don't even know how to do that. That's the one thing where, like, now I'm definitely, you know, at first I was kind of leaning backward a bit, like, you know, okay, Minazuki is, um, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, where, like, before I kind of said, you know, okay, Mina, Minazuki with meter can do such extreme damage and has, like, such scary options that, um, it's not really, he's, I think he's better a little bit than Sho. But now, like, the more I've actually seen, Minazuki can jump cancel almost everything he does. Whereas, Sho can't. Sho can't, the only move Sho can jump cancel off of on block is 5A. Whereas Minazuki can jump cancel the first hit of his uh, 2B. I think he can jump cancel both first hits of both of his B moves, whereas Sho can't. And having that jump cancelable property to allow you to do, you know, like, so you can continue your pressure with a jump move, or so you can do an instant air dash back to bait out a DP, or so you can do um, uh, air dash forward, and then, you know, you spin around, you do 5B to get a cross up. That jump cancelable property gives you so many more options that Sho doesn't have on offense that just makes Sho, I feel, a weaker character now that I've actually, like, seen it. And, like, I'm by no means an optimal Sho player. Sho actually gets a ton of use out of his SB moves, and I'm not, not really using any of them. Wow, I'm smashing this and everything. I can do is jump loop on Risei. I'm just so scared to do it because I suck at it. I deserve that. Nice. Nice, Nate. You really know how to play this game. I was hoping I would get behind her. I didn't. That confirmed? Really? I deserve that. I 
I don't know Risei well enough to react to stuff. So I'm gonna get hit by that overhead right now. Every time. Okay. Thank you for the button press that didn't come out there. Always nice. Okay. Okay. God damn it, I just I cannot I don't think you confirmed that at all. I don't know why I did that. That was that's not gonna kill her. I'm just so bad at this game. I'm just so bad at this game. Everybody knows it. So I'm gonna stop recording now because I need to get better. I need. I don't know. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, all the shit that I have talked about this game clearly means I don't really have much interest in like trying to be the best at this game. Whereas with Blaze Blue, I do enjoy it. And so, you know, there's a there's an there's a motivation there to want to be able to play it at least a semi-optimal level so that I can compete with the better players and have fun with good games, that kind of thing. This game, there's no interest in that. It's just let's just let's just mash. <laughs> let's just mash. So I need to find a character that like I truly enjoy playing, but I will stop making you suffer through my misery and through my bad play. And and I don't know what's gonna happen the next time you see this game. 